Bring me your tired. Bring me your hungry and your poor so we came. Huddled our families into commercial jet planes. Skipped our rocks across oceans. Picked them up on western shores. Stacked them into homes. Built the ceilings as high as our credit scores. Became nurses. Became doctors and engineers. Real estate brokers and devout Catholics. We never looked back. Liberty's beacon of hope shining so bright before us. We anchored ourselves at our feet, called ourselves citizen, left nothing behind but the stretching shadow of our past, tugging at our heels with our empty stomachs, tin can in one hand, dignity in the other, begging us to make them stop choosing, but we've worked too hard. I've traveled too far. Ran from the side of children, the typhoons coursing through their veins, the mudslides swiped on their cheeks, the rattling of aluminum rooftops pounding beside their heartbeat, the American dream doesn't allow us to think of such things. The anthem we used to sing becoming so easy to forget, the Philippine soil beneath our nails being polished off by health benefits and credit card debt. Watch how quick we write checks to pay off our guilt. Watch how we perfect our broken English until every hint of our accent fades into dust. Create a language barrier so tall we no longer recognize any of our own as one of us, but who can ignore the hunger? Who can ignore the rumbling of stomachs that echo from home? The weight of their bellies heavy from swallowing stones. Searching for Jesus in our eyes that we may turn those stones to bread. But we chose to remain silent instead. As if the flood waters could never reach our doors. As if we can't imagine anymore having to pray for a roof that isn't as frail as our spirit. But try pretending you don't hear it. When a 12 year old girl holds her screams beneath the body of a man whose wallet looks a lot like next week's dinner and the mother that has to wash that bloody skirt in the river her tears falling into the current brought over to our beaches with the morning tide how long before we realize there's a reason the ocean waters taste salty there's a reason church pews feel so hard on our knees the weight of our conscience laying so heavy on our shoulders breathing down our necks that every time we dip our fingers in holy water to genuflex the reflections staring back are the faces of prayers unanswered every bow we bow down at the altar the eucharist melting on our tongue our shadow is a shape of young boys back bent searching for scraps of food behind restaurants did you know they make their living refrying those scraps and sells them to the people in their village how they sometimes daydream of eating until the hunger pangs no longer hurt did you know god has never counted how many sundays we've spent in church or how well we've kept our sacraments or how often we've tied the communion will always taste dry if on our way inside we ignore their starving eyes their tattered clothes their outstretched palms reaching towards our chest as if we are the miracle that could save them reach down if you want to find god stop looking up and look around Find him in the nervous palms of beggars, their hearts so full of disgrace. Find him in the wrinkles of our grandfathers, rolling into rice terraces on his face. Find him in the broken smiles of parents, searching for new daydreams to teach their children to pass the hunger. We can sing the praises, memorize every prayer we were taught to utter. But if you want to find God, then find him in the prayers we were meant to pray for others. Pray for that. Pray for the rocks we were meant to throw back, stack the stones until the hunger doesn't rumble, until the tables are set, until the children's laughter rises, until the anthems we will no longer forget, stack the stones, show the world our people have backbones, tell Lady Liberty, we no longer need to bring you our tired, our hungry, and our poor, we can take care of that from home.